Um, so this is the activator pack. Uh, this is basically what we do for our commercial or our retail side of things. Uh, this is the same yeast if a local brewery is ordering about the same day as you guys are. We grow all of our yeast up. Uh, we don't differentiate our yeast or our production process or any of our QC steps for homebrew or commercial stuff. So uh, 1056, well, probably 30% of the breweries in America are using this. Um, we do work with everybody from nano brewers on a single barrel system on the commercial level up to the big craft guys, or the, I guess, the big macro guys. If you ever see a really shiny 30 barrel showpiece system on a, uh, on a commercial, we probably supply that system. We did last night. Yeah, for her commerce. Okay. Um, I don't know. If that's no, what I'm talking about. No, on like the Bud and Miller and Coors. Oh, okay. We go up that big and then uh, I work with guys down to a barrel and then we do a ton of work actually in homebrew. And because of people like Midwest, our homebrew business is just honestly exploding. You know? For years and years and years, we hit 25 years this year. Uh, we were 50% homebrew, 50% um, commercial. And uh, homebrew is like 55, 45 now. If you look at total number of cells or number of liters that we do, uh, homebrew is uh, going through the roof, which is great for us. Uh, everybody at the lab homebrews, or almost everybody, uh, probably 15 out of 25 people homebrew, make wine or other fun stuff. Um, so this is our activator pack. Inside you have your little uh, nutrient pack. So you have 95 mils of yeast in the outside and 35 mils of nutrient on the inside. So there's a bag inside a bag on that one. When you take it, smack the pack, you're gonna release the nutrients into the yeast. So it provides kind of a healthy breakfast for them. Um, we put them to sleep by temperature. Um, they keep them refrigerated and we refrigerate them in shipment. And so when you pull them out of the fridge, um, Smack the pack. Yeast are going to wake up. You know, you put it on your counter. It'll be about 70 degrees. They're going to grow in a sterile environment. Um, they get a healthy breakfast. So there's a little bit of sugar, a lot of nutrients, a fatty acid source to help with under oxygenated wort. If you've heard of like the olive oil in your wort, if you don't have oxygenation, um, yeah. If you don't have oxygenation, you can put olive oil into your wort or a fatty acid source uh, uh, to help with under aeration. Um, yeast need oxygen and they create sterols to thicken their cell walls uh, so they can divide a lot. And if you put in a fatty acid, which is a sterol, they'll just take it and apply it directly to their cell wall. So we put a fatty acid source inside there. You won't have any doubling inside that pack. There's not enough sugar, so it's not like you leave it out for five days and you're going to have 200 billion cells. <laughs> um, so it's 100 billion cells in the pack. So you smack it, you get a pre-treatment, the yeast wake up, and they're metabolically active, so when you pitch them into your wort, uh, you're going to have a decreased lag time, they're already hungry, they're excited to eat, uh, they've had their breakfast, all their nutrients, and then they go into wort and there's a ton of sugar in there and no alcohol, and so they're super excited, and your lag time will decrease. Um, and then you have proof of activation prior to pitching. If your uh, activator doesn't swell up, it was compromised in transit. It's not really going to do anything good for your wart. It's not going to hurt it. Um, um, but you just bring it back here. Uh, they'll give you guys credit. We stand behind every pack for six months.